Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and this is going to be a quick one which was inspired by a comment that I received either on the TRE or the uh, Shelly H&T which the question was can I use the H&T as an external sensor for the TRE which is the radiator valve thermostatic radiator valve it has a built-in temperature sensors obviously but the question was can you use an external one and I said uh, well I didn't know the answer but I, I couldn't really find anything that would suggest that it can be done and I looked at it again and now it is possible so I think probably it was something that was introduced in a firmware update and I I didn't realize but what you can see on the screen now is my Shelly H&T is uh, showing 9.7 degrees here on the screen you can see 19.7 degrees but it has been out in the outside and well it is less than 10 degrees outside and I think probably this uh, e-ink display uh, just froze and I'm hoping it's not permanent and I, I didn't break this device but um, even when it was outside, uh, it was outside uh, earlier, it was showing like 17 degrees, where it was definitely much less. So I think it's, yeah, it was just too cold for this display. But what you can see on the, uh, on the UI, on, on the phone app, is that the temperature of the H&T, or the Shelly Plus H&T, and the TRV is now synced. And obviously the TRV was inside, so that should be measuring like 20 something degrees. So now it is possible, you can do that. And that it is really, really good because then if you have a lot of thermostatic valves, uh, let's say you have multiple radiators in a room, you can use like a central unit to control the, or to measure the uh, environment temperature and you can place it in part of the room where you, you know you want to measure the temperature, not close to the uh, radiators where there could be draft or something else. Okay, so let's see how it is done. It, is, uh, it needs two different steps. So first of all, we have to go into the TRE. You can see that the temperature has dropped. This is when I moved the Shelly h &T outside and now it's climbing back up. But you can go into the settings and into the center sensor settings and into temperature offset and you have to enable this. You see here that there has been a temperature offset even, even before, but now we have a checkbox which says enable external temperature correction and it says correction here but it's actually temp external temperature sensing or external temperature setting and you can see that it also provides the url where you where you need to do this and also here you can see the url the shelly h and t needs to call in order to set the temperature on the tre and this is where one of the issue comes is that well, obviously it has an IP address, so we have to make sure that the TRV is on a fixed IP address. And there are two different ways of doing that. What I did is I've gone into my router and within the DHCP settings, I assigned a fixed IP address for the MAC address of the TRV. So that's one option. Or the other option is if you go into internet and you open the Wi-Fi and then you can set a static IP address. Both of them works, uh, I just find this MAC address a little bit easier. So now you just need to take a note of this IP address that is shown on the screen here. And that's the TRV part, so it's just enabled for the external sensing. And now I just go into my Shelly Plus h and and here I also go into settings and I go into webhooks and I created a new webhook. So you click on the add and I'm just going to edit it. And then you give a name. So like I give a name update TRE. Well, actually, I think there is a bug here because when you edit it, then the name disappears. But um, the start time by default is 00 to 00. I'm not sure if it accepts 00, but just to be sure, I set the end time to 23.59. So that's basically uh, the entire day. And I set the condition to temperature change and, and then the URL. So this is where I specify the URL. So you can see that the IP of my TRV and slash X underscore T question mark temp equals. And then you click on this one, which says dollar uh, EV TRC. So that's the, you know, the temperature reading in Celsius which is the, you know, the Shelly uh, H&T is going to put into the URL uh, based on what the actual reading is. So now uh, all you need to do is need to save it. And that's it. Also, uh, just make a note of this uh, warning here that uh, 
when you are defining these web hooks, obviously every time the temperature changes, the shell is going to wake up or the HNT is going to wake up. It's not only that it's going to send data to the cloud or you know server or whatever you performed or whatever you specified, but now it's also going to call these URLs. So that's going to be additional drain on the battery. So you just either accept that you need to change the batteries more frequently or you might need to consider plugging it into the USB-C socket. But uh, to be honest, I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. Obviously, I've just discovered this, so I haven't tested it. And you also can additional URLs. You can see the plus sign here. And um, I mentioned uh, in the beginning that if you have a scenario where you have a, um, multiple you know, radiators with uh, uh, TRVs, so thermostatic radiator valves on each of them, obviously you want to just send the temperature to each of these. So you can just uh, list multiple URLs in here. Uh, so the HNT is going to call each TRV and it's going to update all the temperatures on each of them. But that's how it works at the moment. So you can see that now the temperature has risen to 14.6 degrees. Well, this has updated, so definitely the uh, e-ink display is not broken, but it's not designed to work outside where it's really cold. And you can see that the TRV and the HNT is showing the same temperatures. So the two devices are now seen together. And you don't need a server, you don't need a cloud connection. This works natively over the network. The two devices are talking to each other directly. So as long as your Wi-Fi is working, even if you don't have internet connection, this integration is going to work. So this is always great. If you are interested in either the TRV or the Plus H&T, you will find links to these in the video description. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.